Namaste, and welcome to day nine of our 30-day Kundalini transformation program. My name is Andrew, and in today's class, we'll be working with the breath. The breath is the key to working with Kundalini energy. So having a solid foundation and a deep understanding of our breathing is going to be the key to our success in this path. If you've been enjoying this free content, make sure you like the video. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with our latest classes. And if you've been enjoying your experience of working with Kundalini and want to go even further down this path, I highly recommend you check out our latest online course, Journey Through the Chakras, where Kalele and I teach you everything you need to know to start to work and grow and evolve through these precious energy centers. For more information, you can find a link to Journey Through the Chakras in the description below. Now let's get ready to practice. As always, we'll start by setting the space. So come into a comfortable seated position, pressing the seat down, reaching the crown of the head up, shoulders back and down, heart is open. Close the eyes, turn the attention inside. Take a deep inhalation through the nose. Open the mouth inside out. Oh, softening into the present moment. Again, deep inhalation, and sigh out. Oh. One more time, deep inhalation, fill the body with breath, even more, hold it, hold the breath and relax the body, soften into this moment, for three, two, one side out. Oh. Sitting with the eyes closed, attention turned inside. And take a moment to notice where you are now in your body, in your energy. Notice if there's any thoughts or emotions that are arising. Remember, there's no need to change anything. Just witnessing. And as you sit here in this space of presence, bring awareness to your breath. How is it that you're breathing? The breath is intimately connected with our state of being, with our energy, with our emotions, with the thoughts that we're holding in our mind. When we're tense, frustrated, worried, usually the breath is very shallow. When we're very relaxed, usually the breath is very deep. The ancient yogis learned that by modulating the breath, we can alter our state of being, our state of consciousness. Today we're going to do a practice known as Maha Yoga Pranayama, the full yogic breath. We're going to do it in the variation of the nine part breath. So learning to breathe into the full lungs through nine different parts. Those parts being uh, three parts of the abdominal breath, the thoracic breath and the clavicular breath or belly breathing, chest breathing and collarbone breathing. And then in three dimensions of each of those areas to the front, to the sides and to the back. Don't worry, it will make sense as we move along. Each part of the breath is a different part of the lung. Even though they're kind of all open, they're all little sacs of air that need to fill independently. And often, we never take a full breath. So we're going to work today to see what it's like to take a full breath, as full as possible. Uh, it might be beneficial for you to sit against the wall, something that you can press your back against. It will help with uh, when we're breathing towards the back of the lung, but it's not necessary. You can also do it laying on the floor on, on a yoga mat if it's comfortable for you. Wherever you are, sitting or lying, I want you to place one hand on your chest and one hand on your belly. And I want you to breathe in a manner where you inhale and you push the belly out and you exhale and the belly comes in. The chest does not move. Okay, inhale, push the belly out and exhale, draw the belly in. Get a feel for this. It can be a little challenging at first. Inhale, the belly comes out. Exhale, the belly comes in. Two more times like that. Really isolating, really pressing the belly out to the front. And in. 
Beautiful. Now we're going to take it a step further. We're going to work on the sides of the belly. So place your hands just above the hips. And as you inhale, try to direct the breath out the sides as if you want to breathe out your love handles. So as you inhale, expand sideways through the base. And as you exhale, relaxing in. Inhale, pushing the belly out the sides. Exhale, relaxing. A couple more like that. And now we're going to focus on the lower back. So you can place your hands at your low back, or if you're sitting against the wall or laying on the floor, try to direct the breath out the low back as if we're breathing down into the kidneys. So inhale, really press the back of the lung back. And exhale, relax. Trying to only feel the movement within the lungs. Not necessarily rocking the spine to exaggerate. Maybe you can start to feel the softening of the nervous system as we intentionally direct the breath down into the belly. Hmm. Now we're going to try to breathe into all three spaces at the same time. You can imagine you've got a pot around the waistline and you want to fill it. So as you inhale, breathe into the belly, the sides, and out the back. Really fill this whole lower area. And as you exhale, soften and relax. You can place the hands for support if you need. Inhale down into the full pot of the belly. Expanding all three dimensions. And exhale, relax. Breathing into the belly is really calming. It's activating the, what's known as the vagus nerve, softening us into the parasympathetic nervous system, the calming, cooling, relaxing part of our nervous system. It's also excellent for massaging the internal organs and helping with digestion. A few more breaths down into the full belly. Good. We're going to move our attention now into the chest, thoracic breathing. Place a hand on your chest and we want to breathe into the, into the upper chest, into the breast area. So as you inhale, puff your chest forward and as you exhale, relax the chest. A few breaths like this. Inhale, puff up the chest and exhale, relax. Inhale to the chest and soften beautiful now we want to move the hands to the sides of the ribs and breathe into the sides of the rib cage so inhale really expand out the ribs and exhale relax soften the ribs inhale expanding the chest to the sides and relax a couple more like that Breathing into the chest is really energizing, activates our fight or flight system. A lot of times this is where we breathe to look attractive. We hold the belly in, we puff up the chest to look like we've got a big chest or a little waist. Or on a subconscious level, it puts us into that fight or flight state. You might start to feel your nervous system getting more energized as we do this breath. Now we're going to move to the upper back area. So again, it might support you to be against a wall, a chair, or laying on the floor, or you can place your hands around to the upper back and breathe into the upper back. And exhale to relax. A few more breaths like this. Really working in this practice to access all parts of the lung. And now we're going to focus on all three, the front, the sides, and the back. You can place your hands wherever you need for support. And inhale, breathe into all three dimensions at the same time. Inhale to the chest, front, sides, and back. Puff the chest as open as possible and relax. 
few more breaths like that. Beautiful. Moving to the third and final part, the clavicular lung or the upper lobe of the lung. We're going to have to lift our shoulders to access this area. So place your hands on your collarbones and as you inhale, lift the shoulders and breathe right up to the front of the chest. It's going to be a small breath and exhale release because there's a small area of the lung. To access this area, we need to lift the shoulders. Beautiful. We're going to work on the sides now. So place your fingers under the armpits and inhale, lift the shoulders, breathe to the upper area of the armpit. Inhale, shoulders and wings come up. Exhale, relax. Yes, it's a lot of breathing. You might get lightheaded as you access parts of the lung that haven't really been worked before. Final part, the upper back of the shoulders, so you can touch the tops of the shoulders or rest them against the wall or floor and inhale, lift the shoulders, direct the breath to the upper back of the lung, a few breaths like that. And now all three parts. So hands on the shoulders, inhale to the front, the sides and the back. Last one. And relax. Now that we've learned to access all nine parts of the lungs, we're going to breathe si simultaneously into all the nine part complete breath. Place your hands wherever you like for support or rest them in the lap. Close the eyes, exhale completely and inhale to the belly, the front, the sides and the back. Once the belly is full, the chest, the front, the sides and the back. Then lift the shoulders as you feel the full collarbones. Front sides and back, hold at the top for a second and relax. And continue with your own breath. First the belly, then the chest, all three dimensions, then the shoulders. Fill as much as you can and relax. And again, the belly, chest, shoulders, relax, a few more on your own, we're almost done. Try to make the breath fluid through all nine parts without pausing or sniffing, just one breath. Make this your final breath. And relax, sitting with the eyes closed. Return to normal breathing. Notice the effect of today's practice. The expansion, soothing, and massaging of the nervous system. Clearing of the mind. Notice how when the breath is open and expansive, immediately the mind becomes open and expansive. Hmm. 
Beautiful work today. Hope you enjoyed this practice. And now's the perfect time to continue sitting in meditation or make your way down to lying in Shavasana to settle the energy. Hope you have a beautiful day. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Namaste.